Hey everybody, it's Mark, Dr. Deadwax, and it's time for another video, and this is going to be a BCLT thank you video for Joe Robertson. Uh, cheers, Joe. Uh, Hill Street Cobblestone Stout. This is the best can of nitro stout in the world. It's a Guinness killer. Anyway, Joe showed a video recently um, in which he... Um, showed like a, his outbox stuff he had for kind of like uh, VCLT or trade and I watched it as I do all his videos because his videos are great um, I'm gonna put a link to his channel down below if you haven't checked out Joe's channel you should click on the link watch a couple videos subscribe um, really knowledgeable collector um, eclectic taste in music um, I don't know I, I, I really like the stuff he shows. I really like his style. Um, I watch all of his videos. So anyway, so he sent me a half dozen things, and let's get to it. Uh, first is uh, Daniel Ibbotson, Frequency and Phase. This is uh, classified as down tempo, deep house. So totally out of my wheelhouse. I don't know what the hell this is, but I sampled a little bit of it online. And uh, I don't know, it seemed kind of interesting, so uh, it's one of the things I was interested in. And he sent along, it's two records, it's from 1999, I think it's Scottish. Um, anyway, I have no idea what it is, but you know, it's kind of the fun is just to wander around and discover things you don't know. Next, um, I, I got a copy of this recently, this was thrown in the box as a surprise, I guess. Uh, so now I have two of them, uh, the Peppermint Rainbow, Will You Be Staying After Sunday? So I'll have to listen to both of them, and uh, VCLT wanted them on to somebody else, but uh, that's great. It's kind of uh, psych. Um, what are those outfits? It looks like, I don't know what it is, it looks like it might be like uh, uh, singer psych, that kind of vocal group psych. Uh, next is uh, uh, just an amazing musician, Ravi Shankar. I, I love his stuff. This is on World Pacific. I have, I think, three or four other records on World Pacific from Ravi, so just thrilled to get this. Uh, you know, can't get enough uh, Ravi Shankar. I'm really drawn to uh, Indian music, uh, to tabla, sitar, which kind of surprises me a little. I mean, it was... It was um, was not a sound that uh, my ears were happy with years ago. <laughs> Certainly not. But uh, I mean, I've been listening to Ravi. Uh, I love Colin Walcott. Uh, just discovered Usted Ali Akbar Khan. I don't know. I'm really digging the Indian music, so uh, it's great to get another world class record from a world class player. Uh, next is a record from Brian Eno. This is Discrete Music. I think this is a U.S. first pressing. Um, you can kind of faintly see in the right light the building scene there, um, which I think makes it a first pressing. And it's on Antilles, which also I think makes it a first pressing. And uh, you know, I, I have a couple copies of this on Editions EG, and they're just terrible. And um, the music's so delicate and textural that uh, it's it's hard to listen to if the vinyl's really crackly and staticky, and it, it just it easily overpowers the music, which is is not a common occurrence for me when I listen to things on record. I, I, a little bit of vinyl noise or whatever it doesn't really bother me but when something as delicate as this um, it does and so this is a huge upgrade for me I cleaned this earlier and I listened to it tonight and um, I could I could actually listen to it and enjoy it and so that's great thank you Joe very much next is uh, another great record this is just a classic classic I think underrated ref record from Miles. This is uh, Nefertiti. This is a, uh, a U.S. third pressing on Columbia. Um, 
1977. This is from, I have this record. I have, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but there's a Columbia label that is kind of slightly darker and red than this Columbia. And it has almost like a, just wisps of smoke through it. it it's, it's a little bit plainer than this. It doesn't have the band around it. It's just got these wisps of smoke through it. And the things that the sources online say that that stuff's from like the 90s. Um, but I, I'm pretty convinced that that stuff's all pirate pressings. Because um, there isn't uh, barcoding on any of the covers for any of the records. And there's it's not just that Miles Davis record that I have. There's, there's like 40 or 50 titles on that uh, weird label. And to release a record in that uh, era and not put a barcode on it, it's, it's basically illegal. So I don't see Columbia engaging in that kind of behavior, which kind of makes me think. And the one I have... It sounds like a CD pressed to a record. It is just sterile. Um, so I'm really thrilled to get, you know, 1977, I think this pressing's from. So this would be pure analog. Um, it's just super clean. Can't wait to spin it. And it's just a great record. You know, Miles has so many underrated records because he has. Um, records that are considered seminal releases in several genres of jazz. Um, and if the records that aren't considered seminal were released by other people, they would be considered, you know, they'd be giants for other people's careers. And for Miles, they kind of get dismissed. And, and this, that's Nefertiti is definitely one of them. That would be Post Bop and Modal, I would say, is probably maybe more on the modal side. Um, next is Donald Byrd, Blackbird. And I just love Donald Byrd and I love Blue Note and this is the first uh, pressing on Blue Note. And so I'm just over the moon to get this too. This is uh, second record after Ethiopian Nights. Um, Street Lady was next, and then uh, this uh, Blackbird, and I'm pretty sure this this is also in the jazz in the jazz funk genre, and um, hopefully it's pretty killer. Um, I haven't heard this yet, so I'm looking forward to spinning that. Looking forward to spinning all of these. Uh, uh, great package from Joe. Um, so again, uh, I'll put a link to Joe's channel down below, and if you haven't uh, checked him out and you haven't subscribed to him, um, you should. He's uh, Great guy. He makes great videos. He's got amazing taste in music, and he's highly knowledgeable. I mean, it's everything you want. Uh, thanks, Joe. I really appreciate these. Have a great day, everybody. Keep the record spinning.